जय जय श्री राधा रमण तो जय जय नवल किशोर जय गोपी चित चोर प्रभु जय जय माखन चोर गोविंद जय जय मेरो गोपाल जय जय मेरो गोविंद जय जय मेरो गोपाल जय जय
den Tess wieder, wenn ihr bitte die Kopfhörer aufsetzt. Some things in life are very easy to understand. Some things in life are very difficult to understand. But such is the... Can you increase the volume, please? Swamiji. Yeah, like yesterday. But such is the situation of this creation that when difficult things are explained simply or when they are explained in a way that fits into the reasoning of human being the difficult theory becomes popular and when easy things are taken with seriousness, the easy things find their prestige. So, everybody in life is, ha, has, everybody has a different pro profession. Engineer, politician, business, yoga, army, some people do nothing, retired. But behind that, the two section as in body, one is, you have to leave it at one point. Uh, because that disturbs my thought. <laughs> Sorry. So, <clears throat> as in body, there is one section below navel, uh, and another section is above stomach, heart. So, stomach and below navel, this is creation, physical creation. When we are engaged in physical creation, then God is sitting in our stomach. When we are meditating or looking higher, then God is sitting in our heart. Both, both the situations are run by divine only because the whole physical situation is just an extension of the spiritual. If this is very necessary to understand, then nothing is downgraded in life. Only thing is, like tree is there. So on tree, leaves come, they fall. Fruits come, they fall. Flowers come, they fall. Tree stays whatever duration, age it has. The tree also gets rotten with, with matter of time. And behind the tree is a seed. Seed, if you do not refrigerate, it also gets rotten. But something, some production factory which is producing seed from behind, that is on. That is the spirit. Call it a spiritual. But the further on from that production factory, everything is physical because it gets rotten. It changes its appearance and turns it itself into something else. Like this body, after 35 years, the body is rotting only. If we bury it, then it turns into insects. If we burn it, it turns into ash. But we cannot make it disappear. Either insect will come or ash will come. 
then the next change in appearance contributes its own thing so anyway the stomach and below area and stomach and above area the profession the profession is connected with stomach if you pick up anybody on the street sir where are you going 10 o'clock in the morning sir office why to work why do you work oh, i have to eat food then why do you eat well if i don't eat how will i work so the profession is very much connected with food sustain this body survive now different kind of tendencies somebody has logical mind very much mathematics somebody is very poetic so the aesthetic side somebody has a warrior inside so army side somebody you know yogi all this. different kind of pro- from whatever a person can earn bread the first section of learning is that you can can you earn your food or not from that and everybody searching job why how to eat so this is stomach and below for this this is world this is worldliness but it's not downgraded it is there it is downgraded when it is downgraded then when this human being has a head and a chest and in this chest there is a feeling maker whatever we eat whatever we are whatever is going through our five senses in our in our body at that it is you know the feeling maker the body is making churning it juicing it out and producing the juice in the service of feeling maker sitting in our heart so after doing whatever whatever you did was good or not depends upon how you feel what is your experience you ate good food but what is the feeling in the chest sometime people see pictures of nice food in front of a restaurant for example passing just person was not hungry passing by a restaurant and suddenly saw a very beautiful picture of pizza for example nice is steaming hot pizza that appearance pulled the person inside he was not feeling hungry but looking at he felt hungry it but when he came back home didn't feel good in the chest the feeling is not good appearance was very good but feeling not good sometimes you sometime you pass through a yogic restaurant where the yogic plate is displayed in the picture person actually came out from his house to eat but looking at that boring appearance of that plate his hunger died <laughs> but then he saw that no other restaurant was open so he had to eat yogic food very boring appearance total distant rest he ate but when he came back home the feeling factor was very good and he slept very good and next morning was even better sometimes appearance is not good but feeling factor is good whatever is good for tongue may be not good for stomach what is good for stomach may be not good for tongue whatever <clears throat> what is good for mind may be not good for stomach so when the feeling aspect is disturbed as i told you yesterday that as the age goes in a human life span so you see birth to 30 years is a very good energy time i think shining body has a lot of power you know and people are asking oh, have you eaten or not or better you sleep and do whatever where are you going what is your holiday plan this that 
from birth to 30 years your family will be after you oh how are you good night good morning this and that 3260 same people will oppose the opposition will come from the same people 3260 is opposition time and 60 to 90 is ignore time ignoring from 60 onwards as a person advances in age nobody will even come in the room in the morning to say good morning if somebody comes by mistake they will only come to check whether the person is dead or is got up this is hard reality and everybody is going to go there better not laugh now <laughs> or you can laugh at now because there is only laugh left to laugh on the tragedy of life there is nothing else left to laugh upon you know so 30 to 60 and 60 to 90 that's where the stomach 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 area is not much mel- not much value because head the feeling aspect is more searched searched around when somebody can ask good morning to me and how am i you know little things little things so such is life today where a person is living alone also and being bitten by loneliness also two very dangerous things for human being living alone and bitten by loneliness whether there is an engineer politician yogi businessman this that whatever but everybody is in that cage of loneliness and living alone adh yoga anushasanam now this is the difficult theory of life this is the difficult theory of life easy theory was you know birth to 30 years no problem life is in full swing person is not even thinking about his breath or this or that or whatever people are fighting on this issue who give me space you know look at the side don't look at me people fighting like this give me space and they separate for this issue i need my space but later on in life the people are searching that whoever can talk whoever can ask how are you the same person is not searching for a space later in life 60 to 90 ho vind jay jay mero gopal jay jay mero radha age span considered to be 120 years for human being like in india when they make a horoscope for a person they calculate the life for 120 years beyond that not that's a 100 years 100 years is enough now we are talking 60 to 90 for 60 to 90 very boring time also that when a person looks around so many scenarios but he says i am not in it because i cannot participate he is looking at the world but he cannot be in it that is another frustration depression actually but actually what was uh, the ignore came 60 to 90 now it is 30 to 60 because 10 years of life has shrunk into one year of life because it is so fast you know 
it is so far. just imagine the computer change artificial intelligence means if you want to write a parallel yoga sutra book of 160 sutras let's say you don't need to write you just need to give a voice sample of yours to machine and fill some facts and in one hour artificial intelligence will make another yoga sutra for you audio book video book whatever whichever way you like it's there you will not even be you know need to go to yoga center and learn yoga whichever yoga teacher you want will digitally walk into your room and teach you and go you just don't need to uh, move from your seat actually whereas a human being is thinking what is my creativity anyway there's this is another issue we are not going in that but we are going in a very analog life of human being non-digital life analog life which remains inside but inside this human being that 3060 was very simple theory of life eats eat eat sleep and be happy other issue does, did not come in the head but when advances further then slowly slowly who is mine i belong to whom who listens to me the complication is starting here but this is an inborn complication inside every human being the other person is not injecting it the, even the loneliness is not injected by other that that there was an nss there was an association before now there is a separation that separation is not really injecting loneliness kon ka u sukh dukh kar data nij karm nij krut kar bhog sun bhrata the book of ramayana says that nobody can take out anything from anybody and nobody can put in any anything in anybody it all depends on whether the person has fitted his perspective in the perspective of this life or not the slogan has become today in life i will do what i want to do this is my freedom but I, actually it is not kalina sadrsha gopi yugo nasti varanane from today's time there was not a better time to learn you know like you are learning yoga this is one thing but to learn from the ignorance of the past past humanity humanity in the past because since the time a human being came out of the cave from that time and now onwards all human beings are our ancestors is this way because blood is one inside everybody it just multiplied whatever but from that time the ancestor they have lived we are the product and whatever we are suffering or we are benefiting is the fruit of the karma of our ancestors from the millions or zillion, whatever billions of years whatever it is but correction is that much freedom human being has that the correction of ignorance is always available there was a king called yayati in india and he was very much attracted towards physical pleasures in life but then he became old he could not continue anymore so he went to ayurvedic doctors the ayurvedic doctor said that somebody can donate you their youth you can continue because the science of ayurveda has this technique that once youth is can be tra transferred to another body so he is going around asking everybody can can you give me your youth nobody agreed so then he is still after it, after it so he, he had two sons so he asked the first one 
uh, do you give me your youth he said no so you are the second son do you give me your youth i'll make you king so second son didn't say no he said let me think he thought and he said father i'm ready to give you my youth but i want to tell you the reason why i'm giving you not because uh, is my duty to please you not because it will be a, an act of very big merit not that i am doing charity nor do i have compassion on you not even that i love you this is very special now that you do karma whatever you do but behind that there is no reason of compassion duty to please somebody you know or do or compassion you have compassion or, or charity why would you do so the son is telling father that i am giving you my youth because i am seeing that so long in your life you you enjoyed your youth but the youth did not please you satisfy you so what did not satisfy you cannot satisfy me also because there is no difference between you and me through the years right from the cave the one difference in human being is that human being you know they walked on the four hand and legs like but to come on this 180 degree it took a lot of time this physical appears but the head is same ahar nidra bhay me dhunam ch where is food how to rest how to entertain men how to entertain and how to accumulate for tomorrow this activity is same from from then and now and it is more bitten by with by craving human being has not changed at all only the appearance has changed in the book of bhagavatam it says that sometimes people will wear very tight clothes sometimes very loose sometimes the middle sometimes they will have middle hair cut sometimes they will shave their head sometimes they will have very long hair is origin because what to do with this room put this room chair from south to north from east to west and change the fabric the color and wall color and everything but the person who lives in the room has not changed at all not at all bitten by craving craving every day more so the son is telling father that if i give importance to my to my youth in my body a day will come that i will also stand in front of my child and ask him to give his youth to me because this mistake is sitting in our blood what you have what you are doing i will do the same not very different because there is an imprint in the genes i want to reduce it. i want to correct that thing because the science has come to this point the karma of a human being can actually redesign the genes you know not the blue genes the genes inside the <laughs> two leaf blue genes also very difficult to get the inner gene redesigned is even more difficult but karma can do it and science has come to this point beautiful search I means the found it that the karma of parents affect the genes of children and children's karma in reverse can also change the genes of parents it goes backwards also in side ways also friend to friend sibling to sibling karma has that much effect and power so the son says i'm giving you my youth because of this reason because i want to correct this lineage so similarly we can also think you know sitting here this is a mountain area sit here and look at the humanity where they are running not necessary you you follow them not necessary you can calm down slow down you know get more into scripture because trends 
and friends this is a big influence on human psyche but the fact is this that everybody is going to lose their life in pleasing the trends and friends when will be the time when a person will look at his life through his own eyes leaving the friends and trends by side for a little while where a person will focus that how he is feeling or she is feeling inside not letting others give judgment that you are feeling like this like this because most of the time the action of a human being is a reaction based but where is man's own action which is not reaction based <clears throat> this is a very difficult part of life but therefore we need a scripture that is scripture very easily solves these unanswered unanswered by common sense for this human being situations and this way when these situations are dissolved the knots are dissolved in our understanding then the whole difficult life becomes very charming the best area in life becomes 60 to 90 actually that how nice it would be that person says actually i'm not waiting for a good morning in the morning i am really i live alone but i don't feel lonely no if if one is talking about liberation and freedom this is liberation so this is freedom but there is a possibility like so many monks they are living different parts of himachal pradesh they live alone they have no telephone no internet nothing for nothing not feeling bored not feeling lonely also but living alone a situation is there like buddha when he was a prince he came out of his palace and he saw that a king died and his family was crying behind so he said there is suffering in life then he went further and he saw there was a monk and he was not happy not sad also bliss his face blissful so immediately said that there is a situation which is removal of suffering also because this man is seeing this prince you know siddharth the buddha didn't go back to his palace he went to realize the how to remove suffering he said the life is a pendulum between suffering and its removal and then he he found the enlightened man sitting under the tree there is the buddhist story philosophy he came also very interesting so janam maran sab sukh dukh bhoga hani labh priya milan vyoga to son gives youth to his father and he takes as and father becomes young and son becomes very old but after a few days looking at his son very old he didn't like it and realized his mistake and gave youth returned the youth back to his son but this is a very important story that where everybody is running i don't need to i need to attach myself to the the perspective of life where where will i find the perspective of life yoga sutras book of gita bhagavatam bhagavatam has upanishad also veda also yoga also ramayana also you name it it has all the description of emotions also and intelligence also and physical karma also complete complete package for this human being because the scripture was made before the creation of human being herbs also medicines also everything the earth was made before human being came in the in the box of creation the scripture already there man just found it 
through the meditative powers because this freedom human being has received from creation that does he want the solution to difficult theories of life or not if he finds he will get if he wants he will get if he doesn't want he can live like animal eating sleeping mating and worrying for tomorrow also no problem this that layer also stays that one one decides i will that my philosophy of life eating sleeping mating worrying for tomorrow no problem is not a downgrade also but then that person should not feel dissatisfied with these four activities if these four activities were the meaning of life this today's life would have been most satisfied age in human life but this is most dissatisfied age in human life where the eating sleeping mating worrying for tomorrow is full on 5000% activities like yoga you know in in india the yoga classes are like one time 200000 people doing in stadium morning evening the because population is quite a lot but not in that in that yoga camp everybody has gone to become a yogi they actually go that somebody is knee is not working somebody is shoulder point shoulder joint problem somebody has headache problem somebody has stomach problem this problem something something somewhere acidity problem they enter yoga for that reason somebody has sleep problem you know problem is in sleeping and resting eating cannot get hungry if he eats you know digest it and mind is totally unrest so to correct the basic situation that divine activity of yoga from the sky is brought down to this level to maintain knee but no problem enter the yoga for the sake of your joints problem or acidity but it is guaranteed that the yoga will return that person back making him a yogi yogi means what is coming in his life or which is already there in his life that he is alone and feeling a lonely that is corrected this is guarantee of yoga so as we are listening to this scripture now this is very important because this upper section of body when that gets activated and questions come in head about life very tough to have answers for that that's where scripture solves everything very easily and man gets very attracted to live fully in this life otherwise the situation is is like this a person was sitting by the pond having water in his hand so a monk comes and asks that you are why don't you drink this water you holding in your hand so he says it's, it's polluted dirty if i drink i will die if i don't drink i will die also i am sitting here in this tragedy that if i live life is no good if i don't live life is no good either holding the life in the hand but it is not a mistake of life there is a say in sanskrit that a, a, a person who doesn't know dance but complains that the floor is not even गोविंद जय जय मेरो गोपाल जय जय मेरो राधा रमण हरि गोविंद जय जय मेरो ह्यूमन 
being situation starts with stomach hunger stomach hunger but then it travels upwards upwards where person has emotional questions you know from head from stomach to head but scripture takes complete care so the beautiful story about how the scripture functions in our situation once upon a time in there was a river called tungabhadra and by the side of it lived a very good scholar he he knew all the scriptures in in his head and he was very rich also and he had a wife whose name was dhunduli dhunduli means that one who cannot see beyond one's own understanding like there's a fog you can see but cannot see beyond and the man's name was atmadev mr soul so the combination was mr soul and mrs foggy dhunduli means mrs foggy so time was passing when atmadev became 55 years of old age now this 55 years of age is a special time when hormones change drastically in this body and usually people say the mid life crisis but it's not crisis the hunger has gone from stomach into head so atmadev one day sat down and made a list of his achievements in life and he found that everything he had only thing he did not have a son so he said i have so much of knowledge so much of money and if i don't have a child others children will take it away so he said is a project to have a child and he tried the child didn't come he got depressed he went in jungle to give his life but when the breath was going away he again drank some water thinking let me live 10 more years maybe i'll get a child like many old shoes old clothes old things a person says this christmas new year 2024 i will throw all my old things but when that moment comes people get attached next year and then again put there in the garage and the garage is getting filled up with old things very difficult to give up very easy to accumulate but to give up so he drank some water and life remained he is very tired very depressed and that very moment a monk is passing by and he he saw this monk and he thought oh is god has come to help me so he cried so monk saw a man crying he ran to him and he said that you are a man and you are crying your worry must be very great tell me in detail so atmadev said that what can i tell you i think all my sins have come together i feel a blockage in my life i have everything no son i have a tree in my courtyard does not bear a fruit i have a cow does not bear a child nothing is sprouting so i think you are god who has come please look for my child do some magic So the monk looked into the lines of the forehead of this man. You see, when there are lines on your forehead, and this is where what will happen in your life. But you need a reader. You know. Anyway, you can write your destiny. You know, everything is a matter of lines. when you start writing words your life story they change into words the line is making forming words sentences in those sentences we want to see our ego where i am in i am in it if we write figures then we check how many zeros craving comes this sign is ego this side is craving this is the line these are the lines on our forehead tad bhala akshar malam ch but monk monk read his destiny and what he saw he did he never told that person so he said you see you are craving for this child 
एक्चुअली इट इज नो गारंटी दैट वॉट यू वॉन्ट योर चाइल्ड विल डू यू हैव टू बी श्योर मे बी इन यू लास्ट पास लाइफ यू आर सो मेनी चिल्ड्रन दैट यू वर फेड अप दैट लाइफ एंड दिस लाइफ यू फॉर गॉट एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ एवरीथिंग गोइंग यू नो थिंकिंग अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स नो क्लियर आंसर बट लेट्स बी क्लियर in our straight forward in our in our thinking that you see you know scriptures and you have the skills to transform the meaning of a scripture into other people who will do it if you if you find a scripture teller this is very hard you can find a psychic doctor and this and that and mentors and life coaches and you know there's a lineup but a scripture this is very difficult also he can put it in your understanding because everybody has different level of understanding teacher has to explain very easily the tough theories the teacher has to say the simple theories with lot of seriousness these are two main pillars of teaching <clears throat> so the monk is saying that you have you are free you don't have child to bring up if you have child you will teach or you bring up bring up the child so many people they want to go to yoga course and this and that but they have a cat in the house now where to leave cat leaving a dog is okay the dog behaves but cat is when cat is out cat is out you know cat is out so these are the situations in, in a city in a spiritual city in india and this monk there and he wants to travel around india but the problem is that he in his room he has a cow he and the cow live together because cow gives him milk simply you know to survive now his problem is where to leave the cow the cow needs service mother is there but mother will need service but benefits are there but service is there so monk cannot go out so this monk is telling this atmadev look at your situation you are free you better use your time to what gift god has given you use use it for that otherwise your situation will go kaput no meaning freedom is there but put it to use do not put put it to misuse if the freedom is put to misuse it will turn into disease if freedom is put to use a person is making his emergence on the earth worthwhile and on top of everything there is no surety your child will read scripture and maintain your wealth maybe he kaputs both there was a lady and she fell in love with a beautiful swami so she comes to him and said i want to marry you so swami said why so he she said i want a child like you from you so the swami said well the proposal is good but there's a problem the problem is this the child comes but the child doesn't come like me the child comes like you and i feel that you are very much dissatisfied with yourself that's why you want a child like me if the child is still came just like you problem so lady said yes it is a problem so lady said what to do so swami said i have a solution the solution is this that you want a child like me so she said yes so why don't you adopt me like your child all tough situations have simple solutions <laughs> the complication is sitting in our acceptance is not there any situation does not have a solution 
everything but we are taking time to accept govind jay jay mero gopal jay jay mero radha ramane so the atmadev is asking monk what did you see in my destiny monk said i didn't want to tell you but what i saw in your destiny that for several lives you don't have a child if somehow you extract child of this life the child will become the problem only problem in your life otherwise your life is going very smooth this is what i saw so everybody has to be very sensitive that after a lot of effort is something is not coming out leave it not meant to be no not meant to be everybody's life is stitched you know just like a tailor takes measurement more than that a person cannot handle <clears throat> less than that a person will not be satisfied so listening to these beautiful advices and the monk said still time you renunciate <coughs> you renunciate renunciation means if you somehow if you get son do not jump high if you are not getting son better somebody says thank you no need to be so happy nobody said thank you better somebody recognized you don't jump high nobody recognized best why because you got your space because otherwise time will only will go away in in thank you and welcome and welcome and thank you रे मुंजादिगुडुम्बाशाम्सन्यासेजरवदासुकम्तेरेस्वन्कोंसेप्ट्सन्यास्रेनोसेट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्ट्
all very clear logical suggestions monk is given to the man but atmadev says that all these suggestions are very dry because i am i am stuck to my desire i should have a son then 10 son then 20 son and then 100 sons 100 children and then there will be great war on this earth and that's what i want after that i will renunciate and if you don't do a magic i will break my head on this stone so monk said to himself that i was i just asked this man can i do something for you and he is talking boilings already so he said i don't have a magic but i can pray for you so he took out a fruit from his bag prayed to god and he said you take it and if god wills if life wills then you if your wife eats it she will be blessed with a son and to have a pure son she should observe some rules and that is that she should not speak uh, she should always only speak truth live with cleanliness purity have compassion and to create compassion she should donate something and eat once a day the rules of a pregnant woman but everybody is pregnant with coming tomorrow man or woman both we are giving birth to tomorrow how we live today how well we have lived today what this wellness is indicating towards yam and niyam rules and regulation don't speak don't lie purity compassion eat less and charity this is yam and niyam no so but this rules and regulation atmadev did not hear like many people do yoga but they get only limited to asana and pranayama when the other theories of eight steps come they don't even to want to look at because for that there is a thinking change aparigraha yoga saying no do not stop thinking what what did you get aparigraha but who is interested nobody is interested in walking the garden of aparigraha hari kri that's why people are doing yoga but still mind is unrest end of the day what did i get what will i get whole day yoga practitioners makes a nice pudding once once upon a time i went somewhere and uh, some religious function somewhere and they made you know a lot of people came and to feed them they made nice sweet pudding big in big utensils but what happened that that maker cook cook may instead of sugar he put salt so the whole thing was kaput and the pudding was very nice you know but the little salt disturbed it so such is one thought you know maybe there is a 50 kg boil uh, pudding of milk but you just need two drops of lemon to kaput it two drops of lemon enough similarly whole life you know we are creating the pudding you know making inside but end of the day one day lemon comes and a person says how much did i get what is there for me in this two drops whole thing is kaput but for this that so have a nice pudding we have to walk through enjoy the garden of aparigraha hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari atmadev ran from there to his wife and he said you eat this fruit will be blessed with the child and he went away somewhere in excitement now wife was of this this temperament that a lady should not have a husband nor a child because both are bondage is her own thought 
so she feels very troubled she goes to her friend and says my fr my husband has brought this fruit and i don't believe that the child can be produced by eating a fruit so the friend said that if you don't believe then eat it so she says that i'm scared maybe there's a black magic inside or voodoo or something you know you, you never know so friend asked that if you if you conceive a child what is the problem she said, the problem is that still I will have to do all my household work. Then if thieves will come, how will I run in that state? If the earthquake will come, where will I run? And uh, if I, you know, just get bedridden in that state that all uh, other people will, will open the safe box and take all the money. I will not have control on the keys. Even Kutargi Yogen, on the basis of these silly arguments, she never ate that fruit. So two friends now looking at each other in a problematic state. So her friend said, I, have, I can offer you something. I am poor. I have a child in my body if you want. If you give me some money, I will sell you my child. Ready made. So Dhunduli, Mrs. Foggy liked it. He said, money no problem. But you give me your child. He says, okay. And the fruit was put in the food of cow. Cow ate it, nobody knew. Because to hide an evidence, very difficult. You know, to hide an evidence, this is very difficult. That's how the thieves are caught. So time passed by and cow delivered a child because the fruit was potent with prayer. Prayer is the most potent thing in life. Pray and leave it. At the right time, life will hear it. Dheere dheere re mana Dheeraj se sab ho Mali si chai so ghada पर ऋतु आए फल हो एवरीथिंग हैपेंस बाय टाइम नो यू गिव व्हाटएवर वाटर इन द ट्री बट द फ्रूट विल कम व्हेन द सीजन इज देयर नॉट बिफोर दैट बाय टाइम बट प्रे सो शी बॉट द चाइल्ड and she showed, shows the child to her husband, your child. Atmadev became very happy. And both the children grew. The cow, the, the child from the cow, long ears, became a saint, saint. And used to run to temples, play with the scripture. This kind of tendencies he showed. He was named as Gokaran, one who has ears like cow. You know, these long ears is symbolize wisdom. Ear. Very small round ears like monkey. You, know, you check your ears, how they are. You know, <laughs> there's a whole shape science. How's your nose, ears, everything. You know. Yogi says they have long ears, big ears. You know, Buddha's ears, long ears. Gokaran became a saint, saint boy. The other child, Snan Sahuja Kriya Hino, didn't, uh, didn't want to take bath. Durbakshi, any insect crawling in, on the ground used to eat it. Means today people eat it in restaurant, he was doing direct. <laughs> mean ants are crawling on the ground. But you can find it in lollipop also. It's available. Krodhavar Dhita. In small things, that naughty boy used to get angry. And mother used to give him toys, but he will break the toys and play with knife. Violent. When naming ceremony came, father said, my name is Atmadev, Mr. Soul. Let us name him Mr. Uh, absolute Brahmadev. So Mr. Soul, Mr. Absolute, a good combination, you know. 
So now this mother is thinking, I'm Dhunduli, Mrs. Foggy. Now this combination, this mother, this uh, son and father will become one party. I'll be left alone. So she said, no. And the name will be Dhundagari, means Mr. Naughty. Our mother is Mrs. Foggy and son is Naughty. Foggy and Naughty go together, one party. Time passed by, the naughty became really naughty, did not educate and finished half of the wealth of the house. And the other boy became saint. And this father is holding his head and he said from this situation, if, if I did not get a child, it was better. He received, he remembered the suggestions of the monk. Your life is going very well, don't disturb. Kotishthami, Gogachami. What should I do? What should I not do? My own child has become ignorant and finished the wealth. So he came in a very dark space. Dark space. So suddenly his saint boy comes in the room. And he looks at father's face and he said, What is the problem? Father said, Look at your brother, he is the problem. I have to live this life with this weight, this is stone on my chest. My own son became a fool and finished the wealth. So Saint Boy said, it's not necessary to keep that stone, that weight on your chest. You can remove it. You not, you not, you have no duty to keep it on your chest. Always there's a detour to a situation. You know, one person was going on a street and somebody ate banana and threw the peel on the street. And the man was looking somewhere, you know, looking in his phone and walking and slipped on the banana peel. Anyway, again the next day he came out of this house and today he was not playing the phone, but he saw again the banana peel on the ground. So he advancing towards the banana peel and saying, my God, again I will have to slip today. <laughs> And he walked and walked and slipped. <laughs> but he, <laughs> he could take a detour, you know. So a classical situation where something has come in life, but you don't need to slip. We can take a detour. But we need to need, we need an advisor. This is the detour. You know. So the sun the saint boy tells father that I have heard few things from monks and if you, if you won't I can tell you and those things is the detour. So father said I am listening, I am ready to listen to anything because I want to be free from this burden. So in two stanzas, the son gives beautiful teachings to his father and these teachings are something is actually detour for any problematic state. Any human being will find in, at any age. Artha Karim Chavidya, the learning should be such that will gives you your bread, your food, and also when you need a detour, it can show the map. Both. Pashyanisham jagatidam khanamanganishtam bhairagi ragirasiko bhavabhakti nishtah Saint Boy says, Father, this body is a bundle of flesh, bones and blood. And this ground is sinking all the time. On the sinking ground, why you are putting the flag of me and mine? Because the flag will go down. Your only problem is that your money, you say, is my money. Knowledge, you say, is my knowledge. Son, my son. They're coming from behind. The son is not yours. Money is not yours. This knowledge is not yours. You are just a caretaker of these situations. You're not the owner. You're not created it. Remove the me and mine. Saint Boy is saying, it'll relate to this world, but understanding that the, that the ground underneath is shifting all the time.
my father you become 80 year old 80 year old is not the time to remain in the bondage of praise and criticism because both are bondage to praise something and to negate something and to criticize something dharmam vajasva sadatam tyaj lok dharman and at your age now is time to give up give up means 55 onwards everybody who should think about reducing places things everything in life the minimalist program starts at 55 there will be no midlife crisis but it happens opposite that's the time more and more more mind craves more and body irrigates more 55 onwards this is the war Everybody's life. Dharmam bhajasu satatam tyaj lok dharma. Son is saying, Father, I know your problem. Your problem actually is not this boy. Your problem is you're thinking about society, that society is laughing on you. That you don't have a super boy to show to society, this is your problem. You're so you cannot get that certificate from people this is your problem but leave others they are not giving you life the giver of your life sitting in your heart is saying you are okay as you are dharmam bhajasva now is the time to give time to the giver of your life in your heart Brahme Murte Uthaya Getting up early in the morning, sit in your bed and close your eyes and, and think about, and meditate upon the divine resting in your heart. First thing, the attention should go to heart. Actually the heart is connected everywhere but the attention to go there is necessary. But we ignore it, just like shoe is there, tie is there, hanger is there, this is, heart is also there like that. Nobody, focus, not, nobody focuses unless the blood pressure is low or high. Then only. Brahme Muhurte Uthaya Close your eyes and put attention on heart. Oh my father, you leave this house. Do not indulge. You cannot change this brother of mine because he, this is not, not the only birth. He has traveled from so many births and so many doings and karmas and habits and everything. That is his present destiny. That's how he's behaving now. If you want to explain to him something, he will not understand. And you also do not bring yourself in the guilt sphere. What did I, what, where was I wrong? I did not bring my child up correctly we cannot because so many lives and he has the other person has his choice always one has to remember that everybody is sitting in this life with their own choice sevasu sadhu purushan jahi kam trishnam you leave this house and go to some spiritual place some ashram by the ganga by himalaya somewhere and find the company of those people whose face is being overtaken by satisfaction and peace. Because how, whatever the amount of yoga a person did, but his, if this face is not taken over by satisfaction, you are in work. You go. Seva kathara samaho nitaram vipatvam and and live rest of the life in the service of divine in your heart. Like if somebody asks you, for whom do you live? <clears throat> if somebody asks you, whom do you live? What will be your answer? Your answer should be, I live for myself. Straight, no? I live for myself. Answer is good, but it has to mean also. 
बाई सेल्फ मीन्स माई सोल इन माई हार्ट आई लिव फॉर दैट बिकॉज दिस इज आवर कोर सप्लाई the divine in our heart the soul in our heart this is the core situation and we cannot hang out we cannot separate ourselves from that we cannot imagine or think or rationalize or whatever a situation without heart is not possible main aur mera kehne wala ye man kisi ka hai diya even the mind is craving even the person is saying me and mine but that energy supply is given by heart jo bhi apne paas hai wo sadhan hai kisi ka diya dene wala dene wale ne diya wo bhi diya kis shaan se par lene wala keh utha yah mera hai abhiman se the giver of life through this heart silent not announcing it but the receiver says this is mine actually the giver has to say this is mine but not saying but the one who is receiving say this is mine heart is only thinking about giving and mind is only thinking about how to take this is the blockage the energy from this heart is not going to the heart of the universe because the blockage is in between me and mine athe yoga anushasanam when the door through the yoga of mind is open the energy the circle is complete from this heart to that heart this is realization the real is in action from this heart to that heart this body has a heart the earth has a heart universe has a heart and there is a universe of universe has a heart and there is a heart of the creator the circulation is on atma ramo bhavati the consciousness of the person is circling in that big circle now this this is where a realized person will live सेवा कथा रजम हो नितराम पिवत्व आत्मदेव लीव दिस हाउस एंड गोस टू एन आश्रम एंड रीड द बुक ऑफ भागवतम एंड विद गुड योगिक प्रैक्टिस मर्जेस बैक इन लाइफ विद टोटल ब्लिस नो कंप्लेन्स एंड नो कर्मा अटैच टू हिम एंड द सेंट बॉय वेंट ऑन रिलीजियस फिल्ग्रमेज इन द हाउस रिमेन नाउ टू पीपल the foggy mother and the naughty son so the naughty comes to the mother and says mother i want some money mother says money is finished no more money so he says i'll beat you with a stick then you will get money listening to this she jumps in a well and ends her life she thought that this son is her party that's why she changed her name his name but that son is saying i'll beat you इस जग के भीतर धर्म सेवा आखिर में तुम्हारा कोई नहीं डोंट टेक योर साइड इन योर लाइफ प्लान डोंट टेक अदर साइड ऑल्सो डोंट प्लीज योर सेल्फ डोंट प्लीज अदर ऑल्सो बट प्लीज द योगा सूत्र बिकॉज दैट विल कम टू द रेस्क्यू टुडे ऑल्सो रेस्क्यूइंग विल रेस्क्यू टुमोरो ऑल्सो So now this naughty boy is the uncrowned king of house. He has all the space for himself. Because everybody's slogan, "I I want to do, I want to do." Other people are blocking it. But now God created a situation. Nobody blocking him. Now the problem came. He had no education how to eat. So he went to a shop and stole some food. And every day habit is stealing, stealing food. maybe he had money in his destiny he became a rich thief so he ate eight and eight and heat accumulated in the body and he wants to go out so he found more five lustful friends and these six people are enjoying each other's body day and night day and night eating sleeping eating sleeping mating this was the program 
one day when this uh, naughty boy sleeping all his five friends thought that he is a thief and king will catch him and he will punish him with a death sentence so anyway he has to die is better that we kill him and or take take away all his wealth they justified their doing so they kill him and with his, all his money belonging go away and this naughty boy left his body in lot of dissatisfaction therefore it is a law that before you go to bed fold your hand to life and says i have no desire there is no unfulfillment in life no dissatisfaction i have no dissatisfaction because never know if the heart stops in the middle of the sleep and so many you know unfulfilled things in subconscious will be carried forward to the next life but i have clean slate every night so tomorrow you never know so in the next life this boy becomes takes birth in the body of air becomes a ghost so a lot of flickering there is no stability house is empty and after a few days his brother the saint brother comes he is sleeping in the empty courtyard and suddenly this ghost appears there in very scary forms but the saint boy does not get scared and he chanted some mantras whenever there is a scare chant mantras it will go away so he says who are you so from the air he is saying i am your brother dundukari the naughty the how you became like this or oh, because of my own doings i don't complain i don't blame anybody else my own doings he says oh my compassionate brother please do something and take me away from the body of air there's a lot of problem no stability so saint boy says i heard about your passing away death of your body in pilgrimage i went to places and did rituals for you but i am very surprised that your soul is not liberated from this body so he said no whatever amount of rituals you do that freedom will not come kinchit vichare or something else you have to think out of box so now the saint boy is going to everybody nobody is giving an answer ultimately sits down and meditates upon the sun in his sky and he says oh sun your light is going into every corner of this earth you must be knowing where the liberation for my brother is hiding shri mad bhagavatan mukti saptaham vachanam kuru so instructions came that please do the recitation of the book of bhagavatam the freedom for your brother will come so he comes back and start reading the book the bhagavatam is something you can read also in your home you read it and that loud that you can hear it there is nothing actually you know is a daily medicine whatever scripture you are in gita ramayana bhagavatam yoga sutras you know sit down 10 minutes and read and that loud you hear it because there is an ignorant ghost living inside needs to be corrected there's a lot of soggy sogginess in the understanding of every human being that needs to be crisped by heat of the fire of reality fire of knowledge wisdom so the saint boy started reading the book everybody came to listen in that that ghost also came and entered an empty space of bamboo which had seven knots listen there for his liberation and on the on the on the first day and on the discord the first knot cracked on the seventh day seventh knot cracked and the effect of his karma which could have gone for seven lives was all removed and a very sober peaceful clear form that naughty boy appeared there that very moment it was seen messengers of god came 
and they said we please come on this craft and you are promoted on a higher sphere in life so what is higher sphere is fair higher sphere is this <clears throat> that there was a very foolish man and a very intelligent woman wise woman so <clears throat> one discussion was one discussion was uh, arranged but to make the discussion very you know like you see political debates now on tv <clears throat> one side is man and other is woman so the debate was kept silent they cannot speak but they can make gestures so it started the lady puts one finger towards the man the man puts two fingers one set of dialogue finished second set the lady puts five fingers see five fingers the lady the man puts like a fist towards the woman so the lady says i'm defeated but nobody knew that what happened so they because everybody is curious that the debate was so quick so lady said i told this man that there is one creator but he said there is a creation also the moment you say creation creator creation comes the moment you say creation creator comes then i told him that there are five elements in this creation and he said unless they join it does not happen so i told him silently understood i'm defeated now they go to man he says sir what did you understand she he said this lady is very violent and she was showing me a finger telling me that she will break one of my eyes and i said i'm ready with both the fingers break i'll break both of your eyes and she was not stopping there she was telling me that i will slap you and i said that if you slap me i will punch you this is the lower le level when every raised finger and five fingers and fist they turn into the creator and creation and five elements this is the upper loka when the a turns into ananda not remains into apple this is the upper loka when you go high up in the mountain look in the village the everything looks like a toy when you come in the same village where the same roof is a burden on you if you go on height no burden anymore so this discourse this sadhana everything takes a person very high in understanding and then he looks at his life everything will become very easy and of no importance which a person said oh with this burden on my chest i have to live past my life but the height and understanding now this is divine loka just like people are going on himalaya means at least here you will get a ttc degree people are going bucketfuls on the himalaya no degree and no medal nothing and the body dies it will remain there forever because so cold no freezes nicely but just for 2 seconds standing on the height and looking around the world looking standing on the ground of heart and looking the below the stomach and navel and below that is world the lower level but that height is an experience but non describable non thinkable also but not beyond the boundary of experience for this experience human being has taken birth so <clears throat> a, a, so the messengers of god and the saint boy is saying that everybody listen to discourse please take everybody on upper loka why only my brother so messengers of god are saying that well everybody did not want liberation 
somebody said that i want more beauty more money this that that like a person doing yoga course that who want to become a yogi maybe one one steps on that aircraft so the saint boy says i'm doing this course again and please write on your forehead that please o oh divine free my thought from lust from anger from ego from attachment from ignorance this is upper loka and everybody wrote in block letters and after second finish of the second discourse big craft came and everybody went to upper loka a for ananda b for bliss so in this story four characters the man who said i don't have a son he had everything but bitten by craving by not son also and he did not apply the scripture in his own situation he is teaching the whole world there is nothing mine everything belongs to the creator but he did not apply it to himself suffers later on his wife could not see beyond his own understanding but that is not the only situation in life there is beyond also she also suffers and then the saint boy is a well wisher when father is troubled he is not telling him let's go for a coffee let's go do some shopping go i'll show you movie come i'll take you to tirol you will feel nice there in mountains he did not say all these things griham taktva griham tyaktva vanam braj do not indulge leave the situation let's go to have let's let's sit down let's have meditation o pranayam or let let us go to a yogic retreat if somebody tells you that this is your well wisher a person who is trying to make you more indulge in the situation keep away in the fourth character the naughty boy and with five friends this is our mind five senses and sixth is mind and the six people are enjoying each other's body but one day all the five senses will say sorry we are going leaving the mind in a ghost hut what to do what not to do what is the meaning of life now that's where the detour one does not need to slip on the banana peel let the scripture come in and the scripture will turn the mind to the top of attraction a peaceful full state in the heart where divine is mind is actually looking for the top of attraction but which is in heart the whole sadhana factor whether you are chanting doing yoga practice philosophy this discourse kirtan fasting kunjal kriya every detail but the but the lead is only towards bringing pulling your mind towards heart once it is there the mind cannot pull away because the weakness of mind is attraction and when you give the height of attraction to mind it will want it more and more more that's why once you step on yoga mat you can never be out maybe for 10 years but 11th years you will be on it again top of attraction so me ran kar le mere mana teri beeti jaati ho mar hari naam dena teri repeat the name of divine let us go to divine is fair because the age is passing time is passing just like there is a well without water just like there is a cow without a rope 
Similarly, is a hopeless situation of human being without divine input. without lamp as there is a knowledgeable without a book similarly is the as there is a night without moon as there is a body without eyes similarly the situation of human being without divine input ran chandra binu deh song this spiritual song is written by a saint called guru nanak who could not see from his physical eyes but he wrote this he says that a person thinks that the lust anger ego attachment all these are his dear friends but they are not give them up they will not come to rescue they will not help also rather eat up your life kaam krodh mad lobh nivaro kaam krodh mad lobh nivaro chhani de av sat jana सुन भगवंता 
या जग में नहीं कोई अपना या जग में नहीं कोई अपना सोयरन कर ले मेरे मना तेरी जाति उम्र ओ बंसी वाला जो मारा रे दे बंसी वाला जो मारा रे दे सावरी सूरत वालों दे तारी सावरी सूरत वालों दे बंसी वाला जो मारा रे दे बंसी वाला जो गिनता इस गई मारी गिनता गिनता इस गई मारी गांगरियारी रे गांगरियारी रे तेरी नामरी सुरत आरुले तेरी नामरी सुरत आरुले बंसी वाला जो मारा रे दे बंसी वाला जो मैंने थारे कारण अपना जो होगी रे सपना जो होगी रे ओ तारी नामरी सूरत बनोगे ओ तारी नामरी सूरत बनोगे फंसी वाला जो मारने दे फंसी वाला
सूरत मेरे मन बस गई रे सांवरी सूरत मन बस गई नींद चुराए चुराए चेहरा